Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up welcome email with Beehive Automation. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, I'll be giving you the shortest way on creating your welcome email here for Beehive using the automation feature here. So first things first, what we need to do is we want to actually add or we want to add our automations. So in this case, let's go ahead and go to audiences. So let's go ahead and expand this one and we want to choose automations here. Let's go ahead and click on new automation and we want to name this as, let's just say there's going to be a welcome um, automation. So let's just uh, add a welcome automation and from here you can add your description if you want to. But for now, let's go and click on save automation here and we should be able to create our automation. So by default, we'll be redirected to our workflow. So in our workflow, what we need to do is we want to add a trigger. Let's go and click on add trigger here. And for the trigger, let's go and click on add trigger and we want to choose signed up. Now in this case, you could go ahead and start added, adding conditions here if you want to. Like for example, let's go and put, click on a plus condition. And if you want to, uh, for example, email equals to something, uh, you could go ahead and uh, choose that if you want to. But since we want to add this as a uh, all, or it would, it would actually, uh, uh, by default, it's going to be activated by uh, any means. So it, whenever someone is actually signed up, we want to activate this. So activate automation triggers. So activating trigger for this automation flow means that the subscribers who meet the trigger conditions will start to move through the workflow. Let's go ahead and click on confirm here. And it's now currently active. So whenever someone actually uh, uh, signed up, this workflow should trigger. So it will welcome the user. Now, since we added our trigger here, the next thing we want to do is we want to send emails. So in this case, let's go and click on send email here, drag it into the plus button here, or you could go and click on the plus button if you want to. Now, let's go ahead and click on the uh, email section here. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and click on the edit button here, as you can see at the right side. Let's go, you could go and click on it and you should be able to send uh, CD properties for it. Let's go ahead and activate this one. And uh, from here, let's go ahead and uh, start using it. So by the way, activating automation step, the scrap rule in this automation will start flowing through this step. Let's go ahead and click on confirm. Now in this case, what we need to do is we now need to first uh, start adding our email. So let's go and click on create new email. And from here, we could go ahead and just start welcome them. So for example, I wanna add a welcome message here and let's just say uh, subscriber, subscriber. From here, you could go ahead and start adding images if you want to. Like for example, I'm going to add an image here, click on upload an image. And I want to go to my downloads here and choose this image here and click on open. And from here, what we need to do is we want to actually add a subject line. So for example, welcome subscriber subscriber so i forgot the s here so yeah so in this case you can go ahead and add your preview text here so for example welcome user and from here you could go to the preview section so that you'll be able to preview the actual look for it maybe for mobile or even desktop or even select a subscriber or uh, yeah so in this case uh you could go ahead and close this one by clicking on the x you can even test this if you want to just to make sure that everything works here but once you're done, uh, you could go ahead and click on the uh, back button at the top left to exit this one. As you can see, we now have our email. Now, in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to start adding conditions if you want to. So for example, if a, it actually equals to a specific something, like for example, if the, uh, if the channel or acquisition here for all. So in this case, you could go ahead and start adding any trigger or any um, filters or conditions if you want to but I would suggest if you did, you're just starting up, I would suggest to not use the um, uh, the value here or start adding conditions. So in only specific scenarios, if you want to, you could add conditions. But by default, if you just want to welcome on a welcome email here, you don't need to add anything here. Let's go and click on delete all conditions. And we now need to activate this one. It's going to say activate automation step. So guys, in the step will start flowing. Let's go and click on confirm. Now, if you want to add other options here, you can go and click on the plus button here. Let's go and click on save more at the bottom uh, section here. So if you want to add other options like update subscription, time delay, or true false and roll automation if you want to, uh, you can go ahead and do that. By the way, you could also add a delay here. So if you want to, uh, for example, you want to have a delay, like for example, after you signed up, the email will only be sent after one day or after two hours. You could choose the delay option here by clicking on the plus button in between those two steps. 
So in this case, you can set up how long uh, it's going to be specified. Let's go and click on the configure step here. So time of day, it will, you'll be able to choose time of the day it's going to actually uh, the delay for it. So any day or specific days. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and wait for uh, Monday to Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, and uh, Tuesday here. Time of day, you can choose uh, what time for it and what, what time zone it's going to be. In this case, you can go and click on save if you want to. But for now, let's go and delete this one since we just want to default uh, use the default one here. Now, once you've done that, you could go to the overview section, which in this case will give you different information about your workflow or your automation. So in this case, you have your steps in workflow, so uh, in progress in, in this current workflow and whatnot. So general information about your workflow here. Now, you have the last enrollments, completion rate, and average co uh, completion time, and completed workflow. So the time of someone actually, or your, your project, or your automation actually completed the whole cycle or the whole steps here. I have the uh, chart here as well, automation overview, if you want to view those. And you also have the setting here, which includes the name of your automation, descriptions, and re-entry settings here. So if you want to allow re-entry, like conditional re-entry, unlimited re-entry, or whatnot. So in this case, uh, the re-entry settings here actually controls if subscribers can enter when meeting uh, certain conditions. So in this case, they could use the workflow again. But for now, let's go ahead and click on the exit button here. And as you can see, we now have our current automation and the current status for it is currently uh, running. So currently this automation is now running as long as you see it's currently running. It's going to say this automation is currently live and subscribers who meet the trigger conditions will enter the flow. So as long as someone actually signed up or a new subscriber signs up for a newsletter, this condition will trigger and this will actually send an email or welcome subscriber option here. So yeah, so that's how you set up a welcome email with Beehive, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.